Hello, my name is Joanne Knight. Welcome to the barn. I did a little barn buddy on how to set up an own point quilt to be able to audition patterns. And a couple of people have asked me what I do with these outside blocks on the quilt when you don't have a coordinating triangle that goes with that pattern. So I wanted to take just a minute and show that to you on this particular mock-up. I'm going to get rid of all of these patterns by marquee selecting from left to right, and I'm going to hit, I was going to say I'm going to hit delete, but I'm not. They're so pretty, I'm just going to move them out of the way. I want you to be able to see the boundary. If I were doing an audition of a quilt, then this would be the size of my finished quilt, this boundary right here. If I am quilting this quilt out, I would still draw the boundaries for the, each of these blocks. I would not take this mock-up and just go to the quilt and tell Creative Studio to relocate and quilt it. So for these side pieces right here, you would have a triangle setting boundary to be able to use this technique. But I'm just going to, for this time, use just the outside boundary that I have clicked for the quilt. And all you're going to do is simply pick your pattern, go to fill inside, and fill the block. And now you have a triangle. What I want you to see is, and what I want you to pay attention to, are these markers that are right here. I'm going to hit Control z because perhaps if you were to mark several of these boundaries for your quilt, if you were to go here and then to this point and go to this point, and you're marking these triangles because maybe you can reach these triangles in your sewable area. So this is what you've got. Let's get rid of this one because Phil is going to fight us. You see those triangles that I have marked right there? You can mark two triangle boundaries, for instance. You do not want to take two of these patterns and tell it to fill inside. Let me show you why. I'm going to left click. You see that line right there that is connecting these patterns? Creative Studio has drawn that line because it has to connect the patterns, and the start and end of this pattern is on the inside of the quilt. You can see whenever I select the pattern, it has joined those two patterns and sewn a straight line, and that is a sewable line from the first triangle to the second triangle. So let me hit Control z and for this particular one, you would select your pattern and you can either hit your space bar and rotate and rotate that pattern until the start and end is on the outside of your boundary or you can hit the letter X which flips the pattern horizontal. Select this pattern, flip it horizontal, now I can select both of these patterns. I can left click on Fill Pattern Inside. Creative Studio fills those patterns and it will now sew those patterns out and I don't have that straight line right there on those particular patterns. So that's what you would do. It is still going to connect these patterns and that's okay if it does that because you can do your little adjusting that you need to adjust. It will still connect those and make them one pattern, but you see you don't have that straight line that goes through that to be able to have that extra stitching line. So pay attention to where your pattern starts and stops. This particular pattern was symmetrical, so it, it was not a problem to flip it before I did my fill inside. I am able to draw, move this out of the way, I am able to draw two triangle boundaries and because I stayed off of this boundary and didn't touch this boundary, 
then Creative Studio did what I asked it to do and filled those patterns correctly. That's how you would handle the setting triangles if the block pattern that you choose does not already have a triangle that coordinates with it. Auditioning a quilt on point and dealing with the setting triangles. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.